Besides the second season for a program still trying to build, uh, heading into year number three, uh, it's got to be a ton of optimism surrounding this program. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we got. I think we got a lot of uh, things working for us this year. Um, we got a lot of returners and. Uh, Team chemistry is definitely at all-time high. I mean, attitudes are really high, so we're just looking forward to starting this season. Defensively, uh, you lose a guy like Chase Vaughn, but you still have a lot of talent around him, including yourself, of course, a couple years ago, freshman of the year. Uh, talk about what you have uh, defensively uh, to really be the strength of this unit. Um, defensively, you know, it always starts with up front. I mean, we got... Uh, a few guys that have been down there all summer working out, getting in our workouts, uh, including myself. And so um, I think we're looking pretty solid up front. We got a, we got some freshmen coming in that I think are going to step up as well and help us up there. Um, linebacker wise, I mean, we got Lee Meisner. He's a great in inside linebacker and he's d really done great this summer. And, uh, and he's on the list to be all conference uh, defensive player this year. And um, outside backers, we got two guys that are uh, that I think will compete for the two starting spots, Jason Campbell and uh, Beldy Naseka. Um, so he's doing, they're doing pretty good. And then um, safeties and corners, I mean, Chris Brown and Grant Crunkleton, I think are, are really good corners. And then our, all of our safeties, there's just a lot of competition with Aaron Hernandez and uh, all those guys, Josh Costa, John Bailey. But uh, defensively, I think we're looking pretty, pretty solid. Um, there's gonna be a lot of competition every practice for every position, so uh, that just makes you better. You played inside and outside on the defensive line, uh, much the same you think in 2010, or where do you see yourself on that defensive interior? Uh More outside guy this year. Um, just last year we had a, injuries and whatnot, and so we had to fill that, that middle spot. Um, and so I just went where the coaches told me to go and did all right. Not, not as good as I'd want to be, but uh, I'm an outside guy at heart, so I'd just like to be back at DN and see what I can do there this year. Like getting after that quarterback. Oh, yeah, definitely. How about the uh, competition in this league? Uh, we, of course, know Shadron's been there. Carney, uh, they're at the top right now. Uh, Mines is always tough. Uh, from a defensive line standpoint, facing some of these offensive lines, how tough is this league? Um, it's a really tough league. I mean, our top four that we always look forward to playing and competing with, uh, Shadron, Carney, Mines, and Mesa, too. Um, the really quick up front is the thing, is the difference between uh, bigger programs rather than just big guys filling up holes and stuff. Uh, the conference, in our conference, our up front guys like to move around a lot. I mean, offensively and defensively, everybody's going one way or the other. And uh, so it's really quick up front. And uh, I mean, it's tough at times. You get a few guys on you and uh, th they do very good. And so, I mean, it's it's pretty tough facing those guys. Physically, you feel pretty good uh, as far as the season goes. You put on any weight in the offseason at all? Or? Um, physically feeling pretty good. I stayed about the same weight, but, I mean, you know, uh, up the strength in the in the weight room. A lot of guys, we all got a lot stronger this, this summer with our new strength coach, Alan Hedrick, and uh, he did a great job in there. So... Uh, I'm about the same weight, and then we have a few guys that up their weights, like Lee Meisner. He's back up. He's about 240 right now, so uh, he's looking really good. And uh, I mean, we just all got stronger, and uh, we can't wait to start this season. How about uh, the expectations for this football team? You're number three now. Uh, you guys have got the growing pains on. You really feel like this is a season which you can legitimately compete for an RMAC title and birth in the NCAA playoffs? I think so. Um, I mean, like Coach said, our first year we had to learn to crawl. Last year we had to learn to walk. And this year we're learning how to run. And so uh, I think we're really ready to run when we can contend for the RMAC conference this year.